we have made it to Sea Dog Cove. This is such a beautiful nature preserve. I love it here. This preserve is home to pink lady slippers. I've seen white lady slippers as well. And I actually did a video here last year. I'll throw it up in the cards. So we're back again this year doing it again. And so this is the first location I wanted to stop at today's wildflower adventure. Let's call it. Today's just all about wildflowers. So this is the first stop. Let's just explore around, take a look around. Hopefully there's uh, lots of lady slippers that are in bloom now and uh, hopefully get some really good shots. Such a beautiful day out. Um, I already know that this preserve is just going to be beautiful. So uh, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go freaking check it out. Woo! All right, that's probably, probably too dramatic, but uh, let's go check it out. Hell yeah. <laughs> focus, focus. These lady slippers are just so unique. I mean, at what point was evolution just like, we need to form this thing? Looks like an organ or a set of lungs or, I, I don't know, it just looks so crazy. Like why, why do these things even exist? Who am I? Where did I come from? Everything's so small. Hey, let's not get too philosophical here. The lady slippers look super cool. I mean, I got lots of really good photos. It's really sunny right now. It's a beautiful day. Kind of too harsh for wildflower and macro photography, but I'm making do. I'm getting some really good shots. So I saw on Facebook last night, someone shared this image of yellow lady slippers over at Rockwood Park. And lucky us, Rockwood Park is actually just right across the waterway there. Um, let's head over there next and see if we can find those. That'll be the second location for this uh, wildflower excursion, this wildflower adventure. <laughs> wildflower adventure. Wildflower adventure. <laughs> So I went to Rockwood Park and unfortunately I could not find any yellow lady slippers. I was kind of bummed out about that but it was still great seeing pink and yellow lady slippers at Sea Dog Cove. We're just gonna have to go back again to Rockwood Park sometimes and see if we can find the, the yellow ones. But anyways I decided to soldier on. I went to the next location which is here. Quacko Head. Quaco Head. Don't know how to say it. <laughs> Quacko, quacko. Why do I always have to do that? There's some wild lupins that have grown behind the lighthouse and I really want to get an image with those in the foreground and the lighthouse is the main subject. I think that'd be a really good image. It's coming into the evening light now. The light's slowly getting better and better. And uh, yeah, just exploring around here, getting some good pictures. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up this uh, wildflower adventure. Uh, I had a really good time today. Got some really good images and I hope you guys enjoyed coming along the journey with me. And if you have any questions or anything, I don't know, anything, just leave a comment. <laughs>